The stage is set for Camp Randall as teams saw their dreams come true tonight. Time to find out which local teams advance to the state championship. We start in Division 2 with two top seeds going head-to-head, Wanaki and Kakana. A couple of big scores from Benjamin Lindley tonight. Second one gives Wanaki a 24-14 lead. Later on, it's an interception to ice it for the Warriors. Wanaki wins it 24-14. Now to who they'll face. Two-seeded Sun Prairie East taking on Badger. Cardinals come out flying high on the second play from scrimmage. Drew Cavanaugh hits Cooper White in stride. Down the sideline he goes into the end zone for the 7-0 lead. Badger responds with a big play of their own. J.P. Doyle keeps it himself on the option. Runs it in untouched, 55 yards for the score. Badger continues to find success on the ground. On the goal line, they go to Landon Notstad, who punches it in for six. Badger moves on to the state title game, 28 to six. Stoughton's Cinderella story brings them just one win away from state. Grafton standing in their way. Right out of the gates, the Blackhawks take it to the air. Brady Hilgard finds Jaden Teague. The first play from scrimmage. He's in seven nothing. Grafton, fourth quarter. Vikes trailing 10-0, Cole Starbacher on the misdirection handoff. He finds his way into the end zone. Stoughton, though, they missed the PAT, so it's 10-6. The defense will get the stop, but Grafton defense coming away with their third interception of the night. A brutal pick six to ice the game. Stoughton's magical run ends in level four. They fall 17-6. Now to Division 4, top-seeded Lodi facing Baldwin Woodville. Third quarter, Lodi hands it off to Brady Bulls, and he finds the lane for the touchdown. 34-21, to Lodi in front. Fourth quarter, Blue Devils, Mason Lane. He's going, out, going back to who else but pulls again for six. 41-21, Lodi later on. Mason Lane. He's going deep this time, and Gavin Sargent is on the other end of this. Sargent finds the end zone, 48-21 Blue Devils. Lodi advances to state, 49-29. Now to Division 6, top-seeded Darlington taking on Kiwani. All tied up at 14, Storm with the ball. DJ Eccles is taking this one to the house to give Kiwani the lead, 21-14. Later in the game, Redbirds trailing by eight here. Braylon Gable throws it up to Will Murray, who comes down with the contested catch. And then it's Maddox Gable who punches it in to cut it to two. Darlington comes back to win it 34 to 28. The Redbirds advance to state. They'll face Stratford. And in Division 7, number three, Blackhawk Warren looking to upset top seeded Reedsville. First quarter, Blackhawks Owen Seffrude breaks through. The Reedsville defense fights through a tackle to hit pay dirt. A 29-yard run puts the Warriors up 6-0. Moving to the second quarter, Blackhawk has the ball on the one-yard line. They win the standoff as Lane Marty punches it in to make it 12-0 for Blackhawk Warren. The Warriors then decide to try for two. Seth Rude breaks through to increase the lead to 14-0. Blackhawk Warren gets the win 36-7. They'll play for a state title next week.